fellow dadpreneurs, Adam Dukes here, and in this video we're going to talk about how I went from zero followers on TikTok to 10,000 followers on TikTok in just 19 days. Uh, it was a platform that I did not want any part of. At 38 years old, I am too old for that shit. That's what I thought. I foolishly thought I should add. Um, it is, uh, it, it, I, I downloaded the app a month and a half ago. Um, 10 minutes later, I deleted it and said never, ever again. I really think my IQ dropped 17%. Um, I, I just did not get the point of it. Uh, there's a fellow YouTuber that I follow, Thomas Garretts, and his YouTube channel has kind of taken off. And that's what I've been trying to do is get this YouTube channel that hockey stick growth. And I reached out to him on Facebook and I was like, hey man, what, what are you doing with your channel? It is just like... It's soaring, you know. Um, his channel surpassed mine. He's at 7,000 followers, I think, 7,500, something like that. And uh, at one point, I think I was ahead of him. I was ahead of him. So uh, he said TikTok, and I was I was shocked by that. So I thought, okay, well, let me, let me check it out one more time. And so I checked it out, and I ended up publishing my first video on April 21st. Last night uh, was May 10th, and I hit the 10,000 mark. So it was 19 days. Um, which blows me away that fast of growth on a social media channel uh, zero to ten thousand followers it that can be done even within a month's time there's people that have done it far faster than I have uh, that just blows my mind that just shows you the power and the opportunity so I'm going to share with you seven tips on how I've done it it's a bit unorthodox I don't I don't jump on uh, the trending songs uh, I, I'm trying I'm, I'm exploring that I should say uh, but I didn't do that to get to the ten thousand uh, because a lot of people do Say that does help um, posting consistently um, is another tip that a lot of people share and that's one of my tips I have not been that consistent with it I'll go into more details here in a second and then I'll, I don't do any dancing or anything I have about 30 videos I think 36 videos I posted in the last um, 19 well not today is actually day 20 in the last 20 days I had a goal of doing 100 videos in 30 days that's the my first video TikTok video was just announcing that it was kind of to keep me accountable uh, I I'm not sure if I'm going to hit that. I have to average about six videos a day for the next uh, 10 days or so. Um, not sure I'm going to hit that. I just thought that was a lofty goal if I could do that. Um, maybe I'll hit it. Maybe I won't. But anyways, I want to go into the seven tips that I've used. Uh, like I said, a little unorthodox tips that I've used to hit this 10,000 subscriber mark or 10,000 follower mark. Um, I've also generated 387 leads in that time, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, average of, uh, I think it's about 19 leads a day on average, I think that is, if I do it in my head. Um, I've also earned $1,215.71. So it is not just a uh, not just a platform to generate uh, awareness and attention, but also leads. <clears throat> I compare it to the sales funnel. The sales funnel attention awareness leads is the middle of the funnel, and then sales is the bottom of the funnel. And obviously, I'm not just generating the attention of 10,000 people. 387 leads, 1,215 dollars. Um, in total in the last 19 or 20 days. I did this math uh, just a little bit ago. So uh, number one is don't try to go viral. I see a lot of people trying to game the system, trying to go viral. Uh, a lot of them look kind of stupid doing it. A lot of them will try to pimp out their kids, is what I say, um, to thinking, oh, cute kids will get me more attention. I've seen several people talk about um, TikTok, and actually I've seen it in the terms of service. People have showed screenshots that TikTok will reduce the viewership if you show kids. They don't want kids on the platform, like little kids, like under 10, uh, which is great, which is really cool of them to not want to show kids on the platform. So it appears that you think putting your baby or holding your kid or playing with your kid that, that making them dance or whatever you you might think that that will help you go viral it's actually working against you so don't pimp out your kids to try to go viral um and then also just trying to go viral doing all these weird things i find the biggest thing with all the tiktok videos that i have seen go viral is they evoke an emotion whether it's happiness whether it's laughter or funniness uh whether it's some of the videos are sad some of them are happy a lot of them are funny a lot of the uh, viral videos that i've seen are funny uh, most of them don't have fancy transitions or fancy uh um um text and colors and, and buttons and there's so much you can do with the app the video editor is really mind-blowing with what you can do on your phone uh, most of the viral videos don't have any of those special effects it's just it really is evoking an emotion so that's step number oh before I go into that I think the fastest way to not go viral 
is to try to go viral. I, I really believe that. I think Gary Vaynerchuk might have said some variation of that years ago, but I think that really holds true. Um, so just put out content. Um, don't try to go viral. Uh, step uh, Tip number two is make the content for your audience, not for you. It, it's to help your audience. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't have an audience. I saw a lady mention uh, the other day, I think it was really helpful. She's like, do TikTok videos for 30 days, whether that's one video a day, a video every other day, three videos a day, five videos a day, whatever it is. After 30 days, you'll be able to look back and see what content resonated with your audience, what people were asking maybe more questions or commenting more shares, more likes, more views. And then you can kind of tailor your content or towards that specific audience. Maybe they really like, enjoy, they enjoyed your cooking TikToks or your tips on parenting or how to make money online or whatever it is, you could look back. I think that's a really good idea. Um, if you don't have an audience. And that's a that's a common one that people talk about is not having an audience. So uh, what I do is I follow my E3 framework. I came up with this years ago. This is kind of, this is applies to anywhere, whether it's YouTube, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Facebook, emails, it doesn't matter, blog posts, podcasts is the E3 as I try to make it educational, entertaining or elevating, like inspirational, motivational. Uh, if I can get two of the three, awesome. If I can get all three and hit the trifecta, even better. So I try to do all three with these YouTube videos, um, be educational, hopefully somewhat entertaining, and then also kind of elevating. Um, so pick one of those three, two of the three, three of the three when you're making content. And again, this applies to not just TikTok, but any content you put out on the internet. Uh, number three, I have my little notes here that, I, uh, that I'm kind of glancing and down at is model others. There's going to be other people in your industry that have videos. Look at their videos to see which ones there's a lot of views. I've just actually recently started doing this um, and I just put my own spin on it. You know, someone will say this, uh, how to do ABC and I'll look at it and be like, okay, I like that, but I do it a little bit different. So I make a video and I share my little twist to it. Uh, a lot of the guys, the marketers that I follow that have done really well, they share side hustle ideas and it's a perfect time with everything going around with the pandemic. A lot of people stuck at home looking to make some extra money, looking to make some money online. So these side hustle videos have been taking off. So a lot of the marketers are making side hustle video number one, two, three, four. And so I looked at those and I was like, how can I sexy that up, sexy up the side hustle, you know? And it, it was working, but I wanted to uh, put my spin on it. So what I did was I called it six figure side hustle. Little bit different, I just added my spin. I got that idea from a guy on Twitter who has a course called the six figure side hustle. Um, and I was like, you know what, if it's worked on Twitter for him, I can take it over to TikTok. So I just started titling my videos six figure side hustle. And now I see other marketers doing the same six figure side hustle, which is totally fine. They're putting their own spin on it, which I have no problem with. The world is abundant. <laughs> um, so put your find content that, that other people in your industry are doing, look at it, consume it, I can make this better or not even really better, but different. Oh, I got a different take on that. I got a different opinion on that. Or I do things a little bit different or I use a different tool. I just did a video the other day. A guy I saw, he had a video on um, two tools that he uses to run his online business. They're different tools than I use. I use the same kind of tools, but not the same uh, company. So I was like, oh, perfect. Well, I'm going to share the two tools that I use and they're they're different. Um, and it's that video is, is starting to take off. I think I did it yesterday. Um, again, it's just the tools that I use. He uses different tools. So just look at other people in your industry, what they're doing, what they're talking about, add your spin to it, add what tools you're using, um, how you do it a little bit differently. Uh, and that's that you can literally come up with content, like unlimited content ideas by doing that. Uh, number four is include a call to action. I don't do this on end, at the end of every video. Uh, I had a video take off. It's got 300,000 views. Unfortunately, I didn't have a call to action. <laughs> so I kind of somewhat missed out on an opportunity. I have another video that has about 70,000 views. Uh, I do have a call to action on that video. So uh, call to action could be like, like this video, comment, follow me, share it, comment your thoughts, whatever. Um, it could be follow me on, check out my YouTube video, the link, in, you can link your YouTube and Instagram um, channels in your bio, and then also include a clickable link, like to a landing page, to a sales page, to a blog, to a website, podcast, Amazon listing, Shopify store, whatever it is you want, you can include one link, once one outgoing link. Uh, once you reach a thousand followers. 
So you could say, follow me on YouTube, check out YouTube for more information, look at my gallery on Instagram, whatever it is, uh, or click the link in my bio once you get to those thousand followers. Uh, number five is be consistent. This is do as I say, not as I do. Like I said, yesterday I think I did four or five videos. Uh, when the kids aren't here with me, it's much easier to do the videos because they're loud and it picks up the sound in the background. Uh, and then at night, I don't have the best lighting here when they're in bed, uh, so I have to try to do it in the daytime. But when they're here, there's days that I don't post any videos, you know, so I try to post like one to three videos a day um, on the weekends when the kids aren't here. I'll get five or six, four to six videos to kind of make up for the time. So I'm somewhat, uh, not all over the place. Overall, on a weekly basis, I'm probably pretty consistent, but on a daily, I'm a bit sporadic just because um, the kids. So pick a schedule that fits you. If you can do one video every other day, do that. If you can do seven videos a day, do that. It does take some time with the videos. That's a very common question, the editing. Uh, I just did a video earlier where I drew, I have like, I don't know, I did like nine takes, uh, or maybe not nine, but probably six or seven takes, and then the editing of it. Uh, it's taken me up to 45 minutes to do one video, uh, so it does take some time. Uh, you do a little research. I put some slide, uh, PowerPoint slide presentations together, uh, kind of do like a quick overview training, so it can take some time. Some videos it takes me two or three minutes, uh, but some have taken me up to 45 minutes. But you got to think about it. If the video is going to get 10,000 views, that 45 minutes is time well spent. And another thing that not many people talk about is I get a lot of people watching my videos from three weeks ago. So like Twitter, I think they say the average tweet is like 17 minutes. The shelf life, a Facebook post is less than 24 hours. Like once you post it on Facebook after 24 hours, not many people are going to see it. That's not the case with TikTok. And that's what's really cool. It's almost like an SEO thing in a sense. Uh, and there's a lot of people that I, I, I don't follow a lot of people like 35 people and uh, I constantly see videos from February or March or January or April you know here we are in May 11th so I see videos from months and months ago um, just showing up in my feed so think about that as well so your video is not um, there's I don't know what the shelf life is basically but if it doesn't catch on right away people are still gonna see it next month, the following month, two or three months. I don't really see videos from last year much, but I do see videos in the last three to four months. So that's really, really cool. So it has like a much longer shelf life, it appears, than like Twitter or Facebook. Uh, number six is probably the most important one is get over your fear of judgment. Uh, I just watched a video, I think it was this morning, of a lady uh, talking about how she's scared or worried. Nobody from her real life follows her on TikTok so she can be herself. Um, so there's like a lot of funny videos, joking videos, but I don't really think there's joke. There's truth to every joke about um, accidentally uploading your TikTok video to Instagram or Facebook stories, the horror, you know, because your family and your friends or your neighbors or your coworkers or your cousins, aunts, uncles would see the TikTok video, oh no, of you actually being yourself. So there's a lot of people, I see people use different names, maybe their first name and their uh, middle name, not like their last name so they could search it. Um, I use my name, uh, I don't think many, there's a couple people that know I have it, uh, like in my real life, you know, um, but that, that's that's really sad, that they're so worried about judgment. And people will say it in the video, like I don't want my friends and family to know I have TikTok because I don't want them to judge me. So get over your fear of judgment that goes with anything um, not just TikTok but that goes with anything but I do see it on TikTok a lot and what's interesting is these people make these comments of I'm just being myself on TikTok you know that's their real self it seems like um, on Facebook they have to uh, watch what they say watch what they post Instagram Twitter whatever it is so Unfortunately, that's the sad, sad reality in today's world is so many people are fear, uh, worried about judgment of others. So that's uh, tip number six. Tip number seven is using hashtags. So you can use, I think it's 150 characters in total, very similar to Instagram. But I see a lot of these people that have new accounts try to rank for these hashtags. They count it by how many views. Um, the hashtag has, like how many video views. And I see some of these uh, guys and girls try to like they have 17 followers on TikTok and they're trying to link for money <laughs> or motivation, you know, or inspiration that has like 78 billion views. Like you're never going to rank for that, you know? So pick hashtags that are like in your, you know, if you've got under a thousand followers, 
don't go over like 200,000 hashtags, uh, 200,000 views for a hashtag, you know. Pick the smaller hashtags when you're growing, you know. I think that's really helped me, actually. I think that's one of the secrets uh, uh, that helping me because I don't use the fancy, like a ton of fancy editing. I'm not really that good with it. I just put out like helpful content uh, and I'm honest with it and then I try to reply. That's another one I should probably add is reply in the comments. There is a lot of hate on um, TikTok, a lot of doubt. Um, some a lot of people seem very miserable um, in the comments. They are just full of doubt and they're trolls. I try to I kill them with kindness. I, I try to, um, but some people you just gotta kind of you ignore it. You know, you just kind of you, you like it and then you just walk away or don't even get involved. Um, you know, arguing with trolls. So those are my seven tips of how I went from zero to 10,000 on TikTok. That's what I'm going to continue doing because uh, it's worked for me. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of um, um, experimenting with some of the um, like the trending songs. Like I said, the p post I did earlier, it was in my niche or I, it was a video that went viral um, with a marker and I, it's hard to explain. Um, and I made it within my niche. You know, the video that I saw wasn't in the affiliate marketing niche, but I was like, oh, I can make this. So take the trending songs, the popular songs that are trending and tweak it to fit like your niche, you know. Uh, a lot of the people will just go very broad with it, very general to try to go viral to get more views. But what I've noticed is the videos that I've done that aren't business related, I've done a couple that aren't business related, I'll get a lot of visits to my landing page in my bio, but that my conversions are really, really bad that day. So all these marketers trying to go viral, it's like, well, like the ultimate goal is to generate leads and sales for your business, you know, um, but it's very, they're caught up in their ego and I get it. I get it. I fall into the trap too, but they want the more followers, the more views, you know, but it's like, no, you want leads and sales. That's what you're using the platform for. Um, but when you go viral and you get more general audience and people coming to your profile that aren't your audience, they don't really care of how to quit smoking, lose weight, gain confidence, make money online, whatever it is, whatever you're, you're helping them with, they might visit your landing page and they have no interest in that. Um, so it, the viral thing can work against you. So those are the seven tips. I'm having a lot of fun with the app. It can be very addicting. There's some ex insanely, insanely talented people. Some people spend hours and hours and I've seen people say they've spent days making the videos. Some of those trick basketball shots, you know, they bounce it off the roof of the house, into the pool, over the neighbor's garage, and then it goes in the basketball hoop, you know, and it's all in like one take, you know. Obviously, they've shot the basketball 280,000 times before it finally went in. Uh, and then just some of these trick things and very, very, very creative people. Um, and one last thing I've mentioned in a couple of videos is the algorithm. Don't worry, you're gonna be people within your age range, within your industry. I don't see like young kids on there, unless it's a parent with their young kids, of course. But I see people in their 30s, like 98% of the people I see are probably in their 30s. Because uh, a lot of the hashtags will be over 30, over 40, over 50. Um, I very rarely see like kids in their 20s and I don't think I've ever seen anything in the teenager space, you know, which is cool. So they, something with their algorithm that they do. So, so not to fret, there's plenty of people in your age range that are on TikTok. You'd be surprised. I'm shocked by it. Um, there's a lot more people on it than I thought, a lot more older people than I thought. So, hey, if you like these types of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell notification because I release two to three videos each and every week for your viewing pleasure. Also, if you're looking to earn an extra 100 to $300 ethically, online, check out that link in my bio, adamdukes.com forward slash go, and it will introduce you to a 15-day business builder challenge um, of a guy who's made 250 million plus on the interwebs, and it's a 15-day business builder challenge that you can join to help you earn money online. So once again, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate comments, questions, concerns. Drop them down below. I'll do my absolute best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll point you in the right direction, point you in the right resource. Try to get that problem solved for you. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it.